In exercise two, we're given the same equation we've worked with before, N2O4 reacting to produce two moles of NO2 gas. And we're given the concentrations of the reactant and product, but in this situation, it tells us that these are the equilibrium concentrations. When you're reading a problem on a homework, on a test, for your MCAT exam, it's always important to remember to read each of the words that are in the question so you understand which concentrations are given to you. In this case, it's the equilibrium concentrations. Because remember, for the equilibrium constant expression, those always involve the equilibrium concentrations. So that word is very important to pay attention to. So the first part of this problem asks us to calculate the value of K sub C. So how do you calculate the value of K sub C? The first thing you should re recognize that you need is the equilibrium constant expression. So the first thing we need is the expression. So we've already done an exercise on that, so let's go ahead and write out what the equilibrium constant expression would be for this equation. K sub C equals the concentration of the products, that's NO2, raised to the second power, divided by the concentration of the reactants, N2O4. And that's it. So we've written the equilibrium constant expression. Now, to answer this first part of the problem, all we need to do is fill in the concentrations, the equilibrium concentrations that are given to us. And again, in this problem, it's fairly obvious because I only gave you equilibrium concentrations. But in later problems, you may have initial concentrations and equilibrium concentrations. So again, pay attention to the fact that equilibrium constant expressions only involve equilibrium concentrations. So let's go ahead and plug in these values. The equilibrium concentration for NO2 is 0.0310. and we'll square that. The equilibrium concentration for N2O4 is 0 0.00452 to the first power. Now you need to get out your calculators and run this calculation and the answer you get should be 0 0.213. Now I know in previous lessons and your chemistry instructors have probably drilled into you that you always include units with your calculations. But for equilibrium constants, this is the one situation where you do not have units with your number. So this is your free unit pass, okay? You do not include units with equilibrium constants. So enjoy it while it lasts. Now, this is the answer that you should have had for K sub C. So if you haven't done part B yet, go ahead and take a few minutes to solve for K sub P. And when we come back, I'll walk through how to calculate K sub P with you.